Hey everybody, welcome back. We are still in Durnhold Keep. We're gonna be a little cautious here as we start things off. I hope everyone's doing well today. So far, so good. Hmm. What to do? I'd like to maybe be over here for a change and get a better view into the doorway. Hmm. Not good. Alright. Let's just think about what we want to do here. Probably just open up with a pyroblast. Now the problem is she's going to run right towards these two. Should probably have been within fire blast range. Alright. Are we good? Yes. We did not pull the other mage. I mean, we're not good. We're alive. Well, <laughs> we're not alive, per se, if you know what I mean. Guys, if you haven't checked out any Shadowlands news, it is a good time to do that because we are getting all kinds of really good news about changes that are coming in the Shadowlands expansion. I'm incredibly excited about many of them. Probably not going to talk too much about it here. I don't think this is the place. And other people are creating content that is focused primarily on covering those changes. So I will leave that to them. But it's looking good. I'm excited. And I'm just wondering, you know, what to play in Shadowlands. I would be curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Some of you perhaps have seen me play a couple of different classes. Starting with the warrior. Tried out a few other classes. Um, I'd say, like, I have the most fun in general on the mage. The warrior is really a favorite of mine, however. Because, you know, first class at max level, it was the class that compelled me to play the game. So, it's tough. And then I think, though, about raiding and what that content will be like. Because, you know, that's kind of my goal. If I am going to play in Shadowlands, it's going to inevitably to see all the content. And th th as a warrior, I'm going to be spending my time mostly staring at the leg of a giant ass creature. Or, so far zoomed out that I can't even see myself. I don't know. It's a tough one. I need a target. But I feel like, you know, I haven't really had to worry about DPS in a long time. Really not ever. Uh, because I was usually either healing or tanking. Mainly healing on a paladin. I don't know. I'm thinking warrior. I'm thinking we could uh, resurrect Ren Rambles, Night Elf Warrior, protection spec, of course. Is there another guy in here, like further to the right? Probably. Should have scorched. Oh, look at that. There was a guy, but he strangely didn't pull, though they were very close together. We got lucky there for a couple of reasons. Oh shit. I'm glad we cleared out there, huh? 
I don't know what he did to us. He torch bursted us. Um, I just... Dumb. Did we not... <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to click the thing. Stupid. Okay. Yeah, you know, because in modern WoW, you just talk to everybody for everything. I actually have to click the ball and chain, just like we did with the other guy. Yeah, see, it's one of those starts, but we didn't die yet. Ah, uh, it is good to be free. Oh, look down there, Robert. It's down on the bottom. Have you freed Tothgar? We totally did. And he will also make his own way, thankfully. Had enough with uh, escort quests. We had a buggy escort quest on the Paladin the other day. So not having to escort that guy is uh, all right with me. Ugh, okay. It's not going to be that easy. The tree boss is the hardest fight in here. Yeah. Okay, we can do this. Alright, right between these. There we go. Alright, there we go. We're free. So what else are we working on now that those guys are free? We need all kinds of stuff. Mountain Lion Blood. Grey Bear Tongue. Creeper Icker. He's looking right at us like, wait, what? That's right. We were casting for six seconds. And you did not seem to notice. I'm trying to use that maximum range. I rarely ever do, I don't think. I'm sure it drives some of you crazy. Now these guys pulled separately of each other, correct? I believe so. We're about to find out in about two seconds. Yeah, we're good. Look at that concentration. Yeah, we're probably not going to get this one off, but we might. And if it crits, he might go down with the burden damage. Ah, uh, that was close. Alright. You could, you could probably burn to death, probably. One more tick. Come on. There we go. Might be tough looting him. If I don't loot him, he'll have a green. Nope, just some wool. Totally worth it, though. And then the farmers are like over here to to the west. And we can we can head that way and we can just fight along the way because otherwise bloods the blossoms might be down here though. Let's do that. I'm out of range. If if we can, unless we get down there and the enemies down there are too high of a level, which I don't think they will be. And then for like, if I'm thinking about Shadowlands still, which I kind of am, if I'm thinking about Shadowlands still, professions, I would I'd definitely go Herbalism and Alchemy for a couple of reasons. It'd let us make our own potions and flasks for raiding, and um, I could actually maybe make some money on the auction house selling flasks. Because I definitely don't mind herbing between tasks now that, um, that we're in the current lockdown situation. All right, further south we go. Mm. 
Oh, he didn't freeze. All right. Oh, we should have scorched. We are going to be spending um, some coin on the next level of water because I'm, we're not even buffed and uh, it took forever to drink to full. Let's fix that and use half of our mana in the process. I need to get closer. Yeah, but now he's getting closer. Oh, that was not the distance we wanted. All right, at least we froze this one. There we go. We have a creeper icker. I did we just pick that up, or did we pick that up and I didn't notice it? Maybe we picked it up in the last episode. I actually don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, we still need a bunch of other stuff. I remember the drop rate being absolute craptastical about uh, the, all these parts of these animals. That's what I remember most. And you can't, you can't skip these quests, neither then nor now. You're, if you're coming here, you're going to do these. Look at that. This asshole outranged us. Cannot believe it. Oh yeah, keep walking that way, jerkbag. This bear is the biggest... Hmm. Mm, bear. <laughs> okay, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, it is really annoying though. I'll say that. And then I have it, I have times like this, and I'm like, yeah, the mage is fun, but we're probably going on a warrior. <laughs> it just is. It's just meant to be. Still Ultimately, at the end of the day, like I don't want to be running from the bear. I just want to be cleaving him in half. You know, that spell isn't ready yet. I can run. I can run from a bear in real life. I can't freeze him or anything, but I could throw a Molotov cocktail at him, maybe, and piss him off. Um, <laughs> I would never do that to a bear, nor have I ever. Um, but anyway, I think I think Shadowlands Night Elf Warrior. Let me know what you guys think, but. I want to hear your thoughts, but I might already be mentally locked in. I swear these mud blossom fields are down here somewhere, but they might be really far to the south. And I think I am underestimating how very large this zone is from north to south. This is not the range we wanted. guys are pretty beefy. Well, I mean, they're bears, to be fair. They're supposed to be kind of t tanky, right? But we need things from them. Ten bear tongues. And guys, we don't... I don't know if you noticed, but we don't have a single bear tongue. He's going to outrange us, isn't he? Ooh, you're lucky. I would have just scorched him more to piss, it, piss him off before I killed him. Oh, look at this. It's terrible when they when they don't freeze. It's terrible. I should mana shield, but then I won't have any mana to cast. So, you know. Yeah, your mana is actually non-existent. I haven't been, have I been skinning properly? Probably not. Already thinking about herbs. <laughs> exactly.
<laughs> oh shit, don't go that way. Oh no, 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 no. Don't look at us, you furry son of a bitch. Okay. I don't like giant hairy green spiders that are bigger than our character model. That is just unnecessary and unsettling. Okay, we're facing the wrong direction. All right, Robert, get it together. It's just giant hairy green spiders that are bigger than the character model. It's totally fine. Mm, I'd love to get up here, but it does not look like that is happening. Okay, these creatures out here in Hillsborough just have too random and wide of a path. This is intimidating. Because I feel like they're either going to outrange us or they're going to wander right up onto us. Not enough mana. No, yeah, still. I need more mana. I know I shouldn't, but for the sake of keeping things moving at a reasonable clip here, let's just use Evocate. Good. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, it can't start cooling down unless we use it. Did you see this thing just spawn right next to us? Or, or are they stealth? I mean, I don't think... I don't think they're stealth, are they? No, these guys aren't stealth. Why did he just respawn there? I need to get closer. Look at the density of the enemies out here. Okay, there's Dungarok. Do we have anything to do there? No, but I think eventually we will. Oh, hi. I really thought you were not going to aggro, but apparently your aggro range is, range is huge because you're a very angry bear. Very angry. Shoot. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, I guess we're going to wand and cross our fingers that we live. Wonderful. Scorch, go for the scorch. Oh. Oh, hey, look at that, though. We got our first out of ten. I somehow, I feel okay about that, but I mean, I wish it, wish it could have been like our fifth out of ten, you know? Okay, we need to drink up. It's a cool icon, though. Sometimes I see some of the icons and I just think to myself, hmm, I don't remember that one. It's interesting. What's my bears I haven't skinned count? I see one over there. Medium leather too, we need that. Like, we need to be skinning all of these guys. Okay, uh, feral mountain lion? Mmm, yeah, lion blood. We need, we need everything, guys. We need every every creature here must become our prey. Unfortunately, they all seem to be like pretty tough. I kind of remember that too. I remember oh no, you're level 28. We need to be paying attention. We're not fighting that guy. Not a 3 level difference. Not when the stuff that is already at our level is kind of beefy. I would advise caution. As a clothy, especially. Oh my god, I almost uh, frost nova that dwarf. And that would have been the end of us because that mm, guy is an elite. I... that was so lucky. Oh, that could have been really, really bad. And I probably would have been pretty annoyed and I might have even dropped an F-bomb. Because be due to the global situation and increasing isolation and probably some desolation just because it rhymes um, because of all that I think I'm getting a little bit of cabin fever I've been trying to go on hikes and walks as much as possible uh, to kind of ease that I would advise anybody to you know if you're not already getting outdoors do it I don't know but that's just more isolation you know No matter how much of an introvert you are, I'm learning that there isn't a replacement for interacting with your fellow humans um, on a daily basis, whether that be at a school or a workplace or 
you know, just out at, at the bar. There is not really a, a replacement for that interaction. Um, not, not fully. But being here uh, kind of helps, you know. It assuages that a little bit for me. Those guys. Remember when I said we would get our ass beat? This is what I meant. Well, we're gonna find out where the graveyard is. Okay. Let's get serious. I'm obviously too much in my own thoughts, right? Still. Alright, let's uh, have a little look around to make sure we can spawn in an acceptable area that will leave us able to at least um, eat and drink, maybe? Before something on its meandering path happens upon us and decides to feast upon our undead skull. Like a mountain lion, a feral mountain lion. Like, the fact that it's out in the wild, doesn't that already kind of imply that it is feral? I mean, it's not domesticated or tamed. Hmm. Maybe they were trying to insinuate that it was vicious. Well, they're not gonna have social aggro, are they? Nah, that'd be silly. They are really close together, like you'd think they'd fight each other. Oh, he, he resisted a pyroblast? This, I need to get on a hunter and come tame this guy. He is gonna, look at how much he's just effing us up. He resisted a pyroblast, I think he is officially the first to do that. That felt very bad. You, you anticipate that big chunk of damage for six seconds, and when it doesn't happen, Hmm, I felt that one. Oh, but look, we got rewarded for our suffering. With the blood of a feral mountain lion. And a medium hide, so... Not bad when all's said and done. Resist notwithstanding. I think the mud blossoms are here, so we can kind of check that out. But I thought there would be gnolls as well. I remember there being gnolls. Apparently I can't read my minimap today. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's some gnolls here. Mud Stout Knoll, Mud Snout Blossoms. Check. And they are the big white things. One of the larger collectible, more obvious items we've come across while collecting items off the ground. Don't resist. Mm, didn't do a lot of damage. Didn't do that much damage at all. Yeah, I know, I'm backing up again with my keyboard. It's safer that way for me. Could blink into a spider's belly, but I'd rather not. Alright, we're out of mana. Whew, big surprise. Do we have enough to even, like, take one more guy out without getting our asses walloped? Maybe. We need some more crits. That... No, it's not going to do it. That's still ready. Yeah, we have problems. We <laughs> I thought I got mana shield up in time. I totally didn't. All right, uh, let's see. Where do we feel comfortable respawning? It seems okay. Famous last words. This guy is actually rather close now that I see him. In full living color. <clears throat> Unliving color, because obviously. Oh, 
All right, let's uh, let's try this again. We should be able to complete this quest, but uh, how long that will take is going to depend entirely upon how many times I die. Could be many. I was going to say I was kind of assuming they would run. Oh, look at this asshole pathing over here again. No, 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 no. We have no mana. And he's like. God damn, he just like sprinted. I thought he was coming after us. I'm telling you, mobs in Classic are really something. They they behave in very unique ways. It's it's interesting. I'll be paying a lot of attention to how the enemies behave in Shadowlands to kind of compare it to the things we've experienced. And just that layer of uh, difficulty that it adds and having to be vigilant. Like, look, he started over here, walked over here, ran up, pondered around here for a bit. Now he's coming over here. He's going to do a whole circuit of the damn farm. I feel like in BFA areas were so like tight feeling and cloistered that... Uh, oh, he got stunned by something. They were so tight feeling and cloistered up that maybe they couldn't even have mobs like run around like that. I don't know, maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. This guy is level 28. He's resisting everything we're fucking doing to him. I'm... I'm gone. I don't even want to deal with that. Man, he's probably going to nail us with something though, isn't he? Oh, I'm just waiting for it. Oh good, we got away. This is rough. Some of these guys are, uh, are no joke. I always have loved the aesthetic and the vibe of Hillsbred. It looks even better to be here, uh, you know, in higher definitions. I'm not a miner on this character and I know that. Okay, uh, maybe we just come like way over here. Can we deal with this guy? Yeah, he's level 27. Um, that's like one level lower. I just want to at least grab this. You know, we got to get something out of this. Oh god, it's another shaman though. If he doesn't resist anything, then we'll be fine. <laughs> Too late on that. I need to keep this up ahead of time because dampened magic is uh it's not doing that much for us. And I, I did think to put it on, hoping that it would help. Um, but it's uh not really helping that much. They're just tough. He's gonna outrange us like a jerk. I hate that they do that. They walk for so long. Like he's gonna, he's gonna do it again. We can literally only get him on the way back, and then they walk right up into your face. Watch, he'll walk up into our face. Oh no, he's, it's 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 terrible. It's terrible. This is annoying. I don't want to pull with a weak spell, you know. Like we when we can't use pyroblast at all, it just makes me question everything. Oh, he resisted. God damn it. And his lightning spells are just eating us up. Like, it's just destroying our health. Oh. Alright. That's every that's every encounter now. It makes me feel like maybe we are a little under level to be here. Like, doing this specific quest, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we should have been level 26. It, it sounds like, you know, that one level shouldn't make that much of a difference, but it actually does. In Classic, at least on certain classes. You know, maybe every class is different, but I feel like on the mage, uh, one level just makes a difference. It, it could be the difference of getting like a new rank of a spell, or just getting some more survivability. We have 515 health. That's like zero health at all, basically. It's an abysmal amount of health. We need more gear. We need more gear with more stats on it badly. Um, hmm. Things I could do. Not really much of anything. I'm gonna do another Shadowfang Keep run. Just try to get some of the Aragal pieces, but that's about it. There's a lot of good gear in there we could get. So maybe I will do that. Out of range. I know you're out of range, but I'm trying to stay out of his range.
And I don't know if I would like do another video on the same character of Shadow Fang Keep. I don't know if that would be interesting or not, but I'll definitely try to run it if I get some free time. Oh shit, no! Do I fight this? I don't even think we fight this, do we? Oh, this asshole's not even dead. Alright, we're 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 gonna die again, guys. You know what they say about it, you know? They say three strikes and you're out. I think that's how the saying goes, actually. I heard it that way. It's a good sign that um, we don't necessarily need to die over and over again. There's other things we could do. Like turn this quest in, for instance, and feel you some kind of reward monster. for the time that we've put in today. Let's see. So the humans thought to turn our warriors into slaves, did they? We'll show them. It would seem that they've taken Goldir, our leader, to another location. We must find him and rescue him. But we currently have no clue where he is. We have a lead. Uh, when we have a lead, I'll be sure to tell you. Um, can you have a lead, like, immediately? Oh, look at that. Uh, well, that's... Wait, okay. You guys see this, right? This is a piece of cloth gear being given from a quest giver for a reward that has strength and spirit on it. Go to victory. Obviously, no one should use that. I mean... Who would use that? A priest who wants to hit things with his mace? I, Because it's cloth. And mages can't equip maces, and neither can warlocks. So only a priest could equip it, right? Well, I mean, Strength anybody could equip honor. it, but who would equip it? We're going we're gonna to get this so we can sell it for a higher price. For the horde. All right. Well, our gear is broke. Uh, the blood snout mushrooms are still to be collected. At least four of them are. But we got our creeper icker, and we got one bear tongue out of 27 bears killed. And we uh, freed those two orcs, so we did do some good for today. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I hope you are staying safe and staying sane, and I wish you the best. I'll see you again soon.